to wrap up the episode, we're going to do a, a draft of building the best perfect movie of the year. Cam's going to get the first pick, but I'll explain what it is. Um, so we're going to draft a director, a lead actor, lead actress, supporting actor, supporting actress, cinematography and score from awesome. 2023. And to see like who can get the best collection. Like we're not trying to build like a movie in our mind. Like, you know, like, oh, like th- we're actually making like it's a so real work. tangible it's movie. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more just like a collective just the best bunching element. of all the best of each elements of each. So, um, you know, we'll we'll start. We were going to start with Cam. He's in the order, but I'm just going to veto him, and he's going to go to the back because he's not here right now. That's so, Seth, cool. you now get the first pick. Oh, that's – so it's – okay, so so I'm going to go because I know that this one will come back to you, but I think another will. I'm going to go with best actor. I'm going to go Killian Murphy. Wow. Yeah, that's good. I'm, I'm going to share He actually – that's so. not a vote, either way. He actually is my best actor. So – and I think that won't get back to me. I think that's all of my best actors, or at least like me and George, maybe. Oh yeah, you're right. You had some lead actor Killian Murphy. Is that yours, George? My number one of the year, yeah, definitely. Okay, yeah, so that one come out for sure. George, your first pick. Uh, I'm gonna go director Christopher Nolan. Yeah, obviously. Hmm. Okay. Um. Let's see. Where do I, want? I don't know. There's so many directions I can go here. I'm going to go. Man, I don't know. I'll... It is tough. Yeah, I, I don't really have, like, I'm just going to go Oppenheimer score just because I don't really know exactly what I want. I feel like it's just a safe pick. Cam, you get back to back. Yeah. I, uh, I don't like care about any of these the way I I feel like I cared about a lot of things last year. Do you guys agree or disagree with that? Like, I feel like I was really behind uh, Stephanie Sue winning best supporting actress. I had had a bunch of Terry Con. You had Jerry Fenebel at once. Yeah. And I think this year for me, my Stephanie Sue, but I don't even think he's going to get nominated, will be Zach Efron for lead actor. Um, mm-hmm. so, so I was I contemplating think, going there for him too. Yeah. Um, also, I like this, like pulling up the um, yeah, the it's bad. Screen. It's weak. Uh, yeah, yeah. Also, just uh, an idea we could do this for like a real quick with like a tier maker list, and we could like tier the things and you mm-hmm. can see them right. Yeah, screen, we so. could do some tier lists for real quick. Yeah. Um, all right, so next, get another, uh, yeah, supporting actor again. I think one that I'm gonna push for uh, will be uh, Mr. Robert Downey. Jr. I am not. Uh, yeah, of course. I, I do think he has the best performance of the year for supporting actors, but I have to push for it even more just because he's Iron Man. So I feel like I gotta gotta get there, behind that one. There's an Oscars prediction app I got just to make easier lists for all my predictions for each award. And yeah, nice. I was like moving Robert Downey Jr. down pretty far on the supporting actor, putting others above him. And then I like sat and thought about it. I'm like, no, like I actually Robert Downey Jr. is fantastic. I think I just it's been a while since I've seen Oppenheimer, so I'm mean, like, I don't know why I was pushing him down so far because he yeah, was so damn good. Totally stealing that app from me. Thanks. Yeah, it's uh, I think like the Oscars esque expert. He's pretty active on Twitter and YouTube. I think oh, they yeah. created that. Like I his think. app. Oh, cool. I believe I've so. Yeah. A, yeah, yeah. There's I some glitches know. in it, but overall it's good. I've definitely seen that person on on Twitter. I actually Same. don't know now that I'm like thinking about it. I know what his profile picture looks like. I don't know if that's him or if that's just like a stock image of. Something. No, that's him. And he oh, has like okay. a twin brother, and they do like all the awards breakdowns. Oh, cool. Um, God, yeah, like uh, the same thing you're saying about like all the sporting actors and actresses and lead actors and actresses. I all of them have like three that I would love to see win. So there's none yeah. I'm like really like, yes, this guy, like Killian is probably the only one I'm like, this guy I for sure want to win. But even that, yeah. like Paul Giamatti and Zach Efron. So it's like, I'm not just like, it's just been a good year in terms of pretty well rounded. But um, cinematography, I guess I'll go Oppenheimer as well. I don't know. Like, I just, <laughs> I'm more just hoping other people take my, like, take directors and actors and actresses so I can just like so take off the easier. remaining ones. No, I, yeah. I get that. I get that. George, you're next. Next, I'll take my lead actress and I'll go Emma Stone. I gotta go like look at my award, my nominees now to see who I pick. Seth, you get back to back. All right, Tyler, remind me: is Lily Gladstone going for supporting or lead? Lead. I mean, okay, no, I'll go. Lead. I'll, I'll go Lily Gladstone for my um, lead actress then. All right, and then you get another pick. Hmm. Uh, I'll go. I'll go Scorsese, the director. Yeah. Yeah. Figure that's where you're going. Yeah. I was gonna pick him, but it's it's. I mean, I'm not as high as Killers of the Flower Moon as other people, so I felt like it'd be out of bad faith to pick him when other people like the movie more. George, next pick. 
I'll take that across the Spider Verse score. You fucking asshole, man! <laughs> and and there's like <laughs> only one score I wanted, other than Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer was the clear one. Only I mean, one score I wanted. There's Fuck so you, many man. good scores this year. No, uh, I agree. Sam, <laughs> was it you that just tweeted about it yesterday in the score? Like you're like, that's dang. the soundtrack. Does that really count like in school? No, that's different. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Different. so I treated about the soundtrack because yeah. I, I did rewatch it and it's just that soundtrack, soundtrack hits bangers. so hard. Oh, we should have done soundtrack as well. Just, yeah, just, just oh, well. great soundtrack. Add it, add it, add it before my pick. <laughs> Do it. Before my too, pick. Late, too late, too late, too um, late. My pick, I will go, I'll go Paul Giahati in, in lead actor. Is that your, is that who you're pushing for this year? I guess I mean Killian, Killian Murphy, is who I'm pushing yeah. for, but number two would be Paul Giamatti. Cam back to back. Uh, that was a I don't know. Yeah, I think for supporting actress, I think the next next big pick, I I, I want Rachel McAdams to win. Oh, so, um, great pick. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I should so have her. I'll go with her, Tyler. and I I knew Tyler would want her, and I don't think she goes two more picks, so I think I need her. Yeah, now. you're right. Um, and then lead actress. I'm 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 pretty high on Carrie Mulligan, so we'll go Carrie Mulligan for, great for pick, Maestro. Great uh she's my she's my number one for She'd be on number two. Yeah, she was okay. really, really good. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I'm pretty high on her, so all right, back to me. Um I'll go with I'll go with supporting actor Charles Melton. No. <laughs> Fuck my, that's my next pick. That's good pick. I do not really get a heel of his performance. Pulled up my handy dandy. Oh, wait. Yeah, shout out this app, Oscars app. Just got all my categories and my rankings for each category. It's real nifty. It's called Dude, we Award Expert. Um, George, next pick. Uh, next pick, I'm going to go supporting actor, and I'm going to take Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone together once again. Yeah, that's a goaded pairing. Back to back for Seth. Um, all right, I'll go. Oh, well, my supporting actress, like she won't win anything. I'm fairly positive, but she'd be my pick under. Oh, actually, she'd be my number one now. Gladstone is um lead, and that's uh Penelope Cruz. Yep, did you oh, already, yeah. type, did you already yep. type that? I know, I, I, you I know, know where you're going. Yeah, oh, yeah, and for <laughs> tricky one, um, I'm gonna take. My favorite score of the year, probably other than trying to clip it. I, yeah, saw I saw that. that. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, other than Oppenheimer, um, Boy in the Heron. I'll say Boy in the Heron score. Oh, wow. Nice, such a good yeah. score. That's like I didn't love the Boy in the Heron as much as most people. Ghibli do not miss with their scores. That's for Joe his Joe his Joe Hisashi. Yeah, 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 he's fucking amazing. So good, so good. Um, George just won. Yeah, George's pick. Yeah. Lead actor, supporting actress, or cinematography. I'm gonna take my cinematography next, and I'll go the creator. Yeah, I'm really building aesthetic here. That's my thing. Mm -hmm. Like I'm building La La Land <laughs> with some with some sci-fi visuals. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um. Okay, so I need director, lead actress, supporting actress. Yeah, you know what? Shout out Kaylee Spaney. I've been shouting from the rooftops week after week that she's my favorite acting performance of the year for she's female supporting or lead. Yeah. Um, yeah, she's probably not going to get nominated, but I loved her. She should do. Cam, uh, back yep. to back. Back to back. Not finishing it out just yet, but getting close. So I, I think for, for cinematography, you got to guess, Tyler. I mean, you've seen my ballad, so. Oh, cinematography. I don't you know. know. Yeah, it no. doesn't matter. I, I'll go with Barbie. I think that was one of the highs of the movie. <laughs> I could have picked yeah. 70 things. That, that would have been the 71st pick. That was I, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't have guessed that for Barbie at all. That was my second on, on cinematography. I, yeah. I, I, did, I did forget about the killer. I'll be honest. I think that might be higher, but um, I, my bad. My bad, everybody. Score um, or director? Score. No, we'll go with director. Just give me Takashi Yamazaki. Uh, he's nice. gonna make a Godzilla movie with this cast. Uh, I'm in for it. I, I think I, I think he'd eat. It's crazy that we live in a world right now where both Takashi Yamazaki and Chad Seleski are both saying like we would love to do Star Wars and like if Star oh, Wars yeah. fumbles that bag, yeah, they're gonna fumble. Fucking idiot. They will, man. They're idiots. Oh, did he say that as well? I didn't yeah. even see. Yeah, that. I trust Dave Filoni. Maybe he's not as big of an idiot. We'll see. Uh, director, I will go Wes Anderson. Nice. Yes, great pick. Wow. And George, you have either lead actor or supporting actress. Yeah, lead lead actor, I'll take DiCaprio. 
Nice. He's in my okay. turn. He's in my turn. And Seth, finish it off with your supporting actor and cinematography. Uh, cinematography, I'll go The Killer. That's my number one of the year. Biggest real talk snub. Did that get snubbed? I can't remember if it did now. Yeah, it, it is. is. It was pretty crazy. Snubbed. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Because that is cinematography. It's like some of the shots that are really yeah. unbelievable. It was pretty mm-hmm. snubbed. And then my supporting actor. Anyone want to guess? Tyler, specifically you? Uh, De Niro? No, actually. I'd probably go Jason Schwartzman. Nice. Really? Yeah, really like him. Like... De Niro would probably be second behind him, I'd say. But... Could have sworn it was going to be Batista for Guardians. Yeah, that's a good pick. Or Batista mm. for Knock at the Cabin. Knock Although, actually, he'd be lead. He'd be lead. Would mm-hmm. he be lead? Yeah, yeah he would be. Yeah. George, supporting actress. Yeah, got, got to take my girl, obviously, Miss Alyssa Sutherland. I t- still pull him for it, George. Still I don't think him. that – that's not a still super – last year, the race was really tight for supporting actress, and I – maybe this one is tighter, but I think Divine – Joy Randall. Be, that's she's, she's like the seems like I the clear like kind of, is she yeah, the favorite she's like kind of the key aquan yeah this. she's like the only oh, category right now that like every single award show under the sun is like giving her the win rachel mcadams yeah. gets a couple but it's really just sound between those two yeah are they going to roast today yeah today oh shit yeah today oh, but i don't know i'm not i'm never that excited about i don't give a shit Golden Globe. to be enjoy randolph is gonna be my final pick for supporting actress she's my favorite supporting actress of the year yeah and then cam your score my score, I'll go with Killers of the Flower Moon. Yes. Um, it That's my had a really good score. Yes. Um, I feel like, I feel like the, or I saw a tweet the other day that was like, man, this, we're getting into the best season of the year. It's like Golden Globes this week. I saw that something that next month. And then Emmys Oscars next the month at Emmys next week, sure. And then yeah. something's next month, the BAFTAs, I think. And then the Oscars the month after. And I'm like, Man, I don't care about any of those. <laughs> <laughs> Emmys are so weird because the Emmys are in like two weeks, but I saw like but they've last already night announced tweeting, winners. So they many winners. Have been yeah, yeah, so the winners. Yeah, they just like announced winners without last like, night was the non televised like creativity stuff. Yeah, yeah so really like, there was an Emmy for like best title card. Shout out The Last of Us for winning. Oh, yeah, yeah I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. like stuff like that. It's like, Hey, it's that basically one deserved what the, to win. It's literally what the Oscars did two years like ago. Two years ago, yeah. When they didn't air a lot of the tech categories. And that's pretty people, much what it people is. lost their shit. And people <laughs> lost their shit. Yeah. Well, well yeah. I won't read all these off. You can see them on your screen on both Spotify and YouTube. You can see all of our, our stack rankings right there. But overall, these are all some pretty incredible movies. Let us know who, who you think is a better pick for kind of conglomerating all these director, lead actor, lead actress, supporting and cinematography and score for movies of this year. But that's been kind of our way to wrap up 2023, put a bow on it in a more creative way than just kind of, you know, ranking all our stuff because try to keep it a little bit fresh. 